Every month, we pick one lucky commenter and subscriber from all of our unboxings, and they win a £100 on Tabletop gift card. And remember to click that little bell, because that really helps us out. Hi everybody, it's Justin from On Tabletop. I'm joined by Jerry. Jerry, what have you brought today? I have an assortment of random resin from Mini Monsters. Ooh, yummy. So, um, this is some scattered train mm -hmm. and bits and pieces that sort of bring out your game, really. Mm. So we've got things like lovely Dwarven, uh, well, Dwarf Defense Line. It's called. I see. Let me get it out here and we'll get a look at it. Ooh, this is quite nice. Yep. Yeah, and I am a fan. Yeah. I, I always like things that just give you that little bit of extra terrain, and especially whenever it's something a little bit more modular. You know, you can just link it together and actually get a good bit of terrain down. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, it, it's I quite like each of these have... Slightly different, different runes on it. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if anyone could translate those for me to figure out what they say. You might not want to translate it. It may turn out to be very rude, but that's part of a, a larger set of dwarven resins they do. They do doorways and... Mm -hmm forges and buildings and that sort of thing so yeah it's quite quite cute i like yeah. the knotwork i'm a fan of knotwork these are barrels yeah see i always find you have components like this that you can lay down on your gaming table they will have absolutely no effect on your gameplay Dep they make you look at they make your table look <clears throat> they make the table look good but you can use them in games you can if you have something that requires for example um Six objective markers. Yep. Right off the bat, you can use them for that. Because they've got a nice flat base, you can just number them as well if it's a hidden objective scenario. Mm -hmm. uh, that's quite cute. These are absolutely adorable. These are uh, bits of produce, so uh, pumpkins, bags mm -hmm. of parsnips. Well, not bags, but wicker baskets of parsnips. And the casting is just absolutely gorgeous on yeah. them. So we've got a little bushel of apples. Or would you call that a bushel? Could be. I've Parsnips. I've not checked. There's your neeps. Mm-hmm. Turnips. Excellent. Bit of the old Swede. Uh, love onions? a Swede. Uh, could be onions, could be tomatoes from the little thing on top of them. Yeah, maybe. And then, could be a quince. Oh, Who knows? A couple of pumpkins. Two pumpkins. Pumpkins, pumpkins. And it's just stuff like that. Especially, I've started to play quite a few um, skirmish games, things like Gangs of Rome and mm -hmm. bits and bobs like that. And just being able to have market stalls mm -hmm. with actual stuff on them yeah, it's nice. is really nice. Well, you know what I would use those for? You see, if I was doing a Kings of War army and I wanted a bit of infill for the middle of my base, oh, yeah. you know, have something like that as part of like a little diorama as yeah. part of it could be very good. Especially when it's covered in blood worms that have just swarmed over and eaten the people who are running the stall. Yeah, that could work. That would teach them. Uh, these are shrooms. Shrooms. No, we had to obviously sneak these in past Warren under okay. cover of darkness. Of but these little base editions, and they do these, they do bottles, they do, I think they do candles as well. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a set of 20 there, so sort of nine larger mm -hmm. shrooms, and then 11 of the little single itty bitty yeah. shrooms. Yeah. See, if I was doing like a, a Gloom Spike Gets Force, yeah. these would be Goblins. fabulous just to fill out my bases. Yeah, it's ideal for that. Mm -hmm. And then we have something a little bit bigger, which is the Magic Portal. Ooh. So if I give you the base of the magic portal. Mm -hmm. It's quite hefty. And then, oh, it has a really nice ring on it. And what, just slots in? It yeah, does it just slot in. in. However, there's one final piece that you cut to size and insert. Oh, you actually can have it. Yeah, it goes in the built. middle. A uh, little piece of acetate that comes with it. Mm -hmm. So when that's sitting upright, you've got that swirling through the middle, which I think is a beautiful touch. Yeah. I do like little touches like that. Yeah. But I like the way the casting is actually designed here, that there's actually a little track along yeah, the inside. A, I feel this. Yeah, there's a, a, just a to ridge hold it in just to hold it in place. And I would use something like PVA in there so that you don't... Super glue might frost it. Yeah. And PVA course. gives you the working time, so just a ring of PVA in there and you've got plenty of time to fit it without panicking that it's going to dry in place too soon mm. and ruin the effect or ruin the, the finish on it. Yeah. But that, that magic portal, I think, is just darling. So yeah. they do... Um, Although, I mean, like, if it did frost on this, because it's a magic portal, that could look kind of cool and enhance it a little. It, it could, but you'd end up with a big bit of white frosting coming past this red bit. Mm, and it would just look, it would look strange, Maybe. I think. But, uh, but the fact that they've even included that is just a really cute, cute yeah. touch. Yeah, it's nice whenever you see a company that thinks like that. Mm. 
Because, I mean, like, you can do all your, your painting and stuff on this. I've seen plenty of portals out. that look like just that, yeah, which empty. is fine. Yeah. And, you know, you go, that's okay. Mm. The fact that you've got it switched on is just excellent. And well, that'll probably be ending up in a saga army, I'm going to say. Mm. Well, I mean, like, you've got three options whenever you're doing it. You can yeah. either leave it empty, mm. do the acetate, or sculpt it in. I like the acetate because it throws a bit of nice photo color in there. Yeah, and it, I do see quite a few uh, solid ones, mm -hmm. and it does require either a bit of decent painting or airbrush work or something mm -hmm. just to make it look like it's not a lump of something in the middle of your portal. Yeah. So yeah, the mini monster stuff's really nice. There's a few I other like bits it. that we're going to be looking at in the future, but they also do um, models as well, miniatures. Well, right. I say miniatures. They do a plague giant, which must be about that big, which mm -hmm. is just delightful. That's I want to get my hands on that at some tempting. point. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. right. Well, everybody, I tell you what, uh, drop your comments below. Have you looked at Mini Monster before? Are you going to be going to have a look at them now? Are you going to go and buy yourself as many baskets of turnips as you possibly can? Myself and Jerry will move on here. We'll see you again soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.